All right, here we go. My name is Wade Gerenser, and we're going to talk about RA Guard and actually just the behavior of having a rogue device connect in your infrastructure and see the behaviors of when a new DHCP pool is introduced with a router preference of high. And what that happens, um, we'll see in the video. So for now, we're going to go over here to the core IPv6 DHCP server, enable, show run, and we're going to um, include IPv6 DHCP. All right, so we're running our pool for these addresses. Um, we're going to just do a show run. It's real quick in the beginning. So our uh, our prefix is the two one 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 sixty four, and not much else is going on there. As far as our um, encapsulated uh, dot, we're using VLAN ten uh, dot one Q ten. You can see my addressing. I'm I'm actually on this interface subinterface. I'm as a IPv6 uh, DHCP server from the the dual stack v6 pool and the uh, managed config flag. So we are <clears throat> doing a DHCP a, a staple DHCP version six. So that that's good. And um, coming down to our switch, we can just do a quick. Um, we're going to do a show IPv6 routers all right so key thing here is this last guy um our link local is his address or that that link local address is our router on vlan 10 because it's a v6 vlan and note the preferred uh, if i did a control find here and did preferred it's it shows up once so note that all right well we're going to come up to this rogue device. It seems like the network is, is great. See this laptop over here? We're going to the authorized DHCP version 6 client. We're going to do a uh, show IPv6 neighbors. And it, it has the uh, default gateway of the um, headquarters router. And a show IPv6 interface brief. We see as well on uh, the uh, encapsulated interface, we have a 2001 subnet prefix, excuse me with um, the EUI algorithm happening, which is what we defined. So here, here's the trick. We're gonna go over to our rogue device and start um, doing things. So right now we can do a show IPv6 neighbors and nothing comes up. Um, let's get into it. So IPv6 uh, unicast routing, and then popping over to our text edit, you can see that we're gonna mimic a lot of the same things that happened um, from our previous router configuration. So we're just going to go here and do a global, or excuse me, not global, but a, a more of a, a Cisco internal 2001 DB8, but this time I'm going to call it bad. And then I'll also 666, like the, you know, this is not good. We're going to go dot one new interface. So we're going to broadcast this by enabling V6, putting the uh, V6 address on it. Our neighbor discovery for E6 is a prefix is, um, the DB8 bad 666. We've got some timers here. We're, we're best by no auto configuration whatsoever. Um, then um, the key command there is that um, by default your um, your interfaces uh, neighbor discovery will be a preference of hot medium. And then we do our manage config flag. And I'm actually going to delete the ND other. And then our DHCP server is hacker. And then we're going to give out these addresses. Same DNS name as um, Cisco, uh, excuse me, uh, Google. And then our domain name is just, I'm going to rename that to uh, Cisco.com just because we're on these devices. So let's first do that real quick on the, uh, this is the, um, again, we're on the rogue device. Try and move this away over here. Right, so sent, and then we're going to go ahead and exit out of that global DHCP pool, and then we're going to get into the um, interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. We're going to go ahead and uh, no shut that guy, and then IPv6 enable, and then exit out of that. We'll go back to global configuration again interface fast ethernet zero slash zero dot 10. 
our encapsed guy. Oop, let's just go back to this guy one more time. Interface, fast defense, there's our zero. We're gonna say duplex full. Excellent. And then interface fast defense zero slash zero dot ten. You can do it on the same command line. Just break out the uh, command. We're gonna go um encapsulation dot one q. So we um tie into our VLAN ten, and that's ten. And we are going to IPv6 enable. Right. And then here it is. Should have done this anyways. Looks like it can go. Now, I've copied this. We're pasting. And we're going to see a crazy behavior because of this high priority. All right. Going back to our switch. Let's check out that. Uh, remember this um, mismatch on Ethernet 1. Okay, config T. Ethernet uh, duplex full satisfy the guy. All right, here we go. Show IPv6 routers. And check that out. Just by enabling that and setting the router preference high, we saw our two main kind of chunks of router information here from the beginning. But when we go back to that uh, control find, Let's go to uh, preferred again. There it is. And what's going on here? We have a totally different link local address. And that's not the uh, 2000. Um, we have a preferred on the 2001 DB8 bad 666 um, on link subnet. So keep that in mind. That's kind of the lab there. And we'll conclude.